Dear students, today we will talk about green chemistry. Nowadays we hear many a times the words like green, green environment, green chemistry. Let us look into what is green chemistry or aim of green chemistry. Aim of the green chemistry is to reduce or eliminate the use and the formation of hazardous substances. We all know that these hazardous substances are a threat to the environment, to human life and to the animal life. Introducing the concept of green chemistry, we should know the purposes of green chemistry. Let us look into the purposes of green chemistry. First and foremost is eco-friendly chemical technology. So whenever we develop a chemical technology, we expect it to be eco-friendly. But in real life, it's very difficult to develop a chemical technology which is eco-friendly. But if at all we have to save our life, we have to save our environment means the technology should be eco-friendly. So how can we do it? Why should we do it? We have to protect our environment for us, for our future generation. So what steps we can do? We have to develop a environmental benign chemistry. So whenever we develop a process, it should not harm the environment. If we harm the environment today, it will not be available for the future life. What else we can do? What is another purpose of green chemistry is replacement of organic solvent and to minimize the waste product formation. So whenever we conduct a chemical reaction, we expect it should give completely, the raw materials should completely get converted into the product. But normally we see the formation of waste products or byproducts which will not be of use for us. And we should avoid using the organic solvents which are da dangerous to our life. Greener reaction conditions. So in future classes we will look into what are the conditions we can adopt for green chemistry development. Minimization of toxic waste formation. We all know that toxic chemicals formed are dangerous to our life. So whenever we develop a chemical technology or process, we should minimize the formation of toxic waste, which is again a threat to the environment. And organic solvents can be replaced by water. I mean to say that the chemical reactions can be conducted in water instead of carcinogenic organic solvents or dangerous organic solvents. In other words, we can also develop the technology by complete elimination of a solvent, either in the solids phase or carrying out the reaction using water or without any solvents. We have developed many technologies nowadays in which we can carry out the solvent reactions, in which we can carry out reactions without organic solvents. Next, we can look into the minimization of formation of byproduct. I mean to say that byproduct means hazardous substances, hazardous substances which create a lot of problem into the environment and to our life. Next purpose is use of renewable feedstock. So we are using nowadays maximum non-renewable resources like crude oil or petroleum products. So what happens continuously we keep on using this non-renewable feedstock one or the other day definitely in the future it is going to exhaust. We will not have any source for the energy in future. Instead of that we should start using the biomass which is renewable which can be renewed and which can be used in the future so that we can have some resources as energy for the future life. Next purpose is to minimize the energy consumption. So how can we do this minimization of the energy consumption? We have to carry out chemical reactions at ambient temperature and ambient pressure. If we carry out the reactions at higher temperature, it requires lot of energy. So consumption of energy will be more in that case. So what we have to do? We have to carry out the reaction at lower temperature. So how is it possible to carry out the reactions at lower temperature? We have to select such a condition that the reaction proceeds in normal temperature and ambient pressure. We can use some catalysts or some reaction conditions in which the energy consumption for the reaction is less. 
So we have to adopt greener synthesis to minimize the energy consumption. So carry out the reactions in mild or modest reaction conditions. Next purpose is use of more eco-friendly chemical products. When I say eco-friendly chemical products means what does it mean? The chemical product which is not harming the environment or the product which are biodegradable easily in the environment. So whatever the chemical product which is coming out as a product should be easily biodegradable. If it cannot be biodegradable means it is a threat to the environment. It will remain in the environment for a longer time and cause dangerous to our life. New products whatever we develop which are biodegradable should have the same effect as the original compound which we had in our uh, library. So the existing products which are hazardous to the environment has to be replaced by biodegradable products. So the last purpose is 4 R's and integrated waste management. Nowadays chemical technology is developed or the process which adopt for the synthesis of the molecule generate lot of waste products and they are dumped into the environment. We hear many a times air pollution, sand pollution, water pollution by these chemicals. The waste management is a very big headache right now whatever we are facing. So 4 hours, what are these 4 hours? Reduction, reduction at the source. Use of the chemical substances which are hazardous to the environment, we have to reduce at the source. We have to recover the chemical products, whatever being used and we have to reuse, we have to recycle. These four R's we have to incorporate when we develop a chemical technology. So how does it help? Reduction. Reduction means we have to use the quantity of the substances in the beginning itself. We can replace with the environmental friendly substances. Recycle anything whatever we use in the it may be organic solvent which you use for the reaction. After the reaction we have to recycle it. Recycle means we distill out and convert it into a pure form and reuse it in the reaction. So reduction, recycling reuse and recovery these four R's are we should be integral part of our process development when we develop a technology for manufacture of chemicals. So if you use these four R's so what we call it as integrated waste management will help us the dumping of the waste into the environment, minimization of the energy, minimization of the consumption of chemicals and dumping of waste product into the environment. Thank you.